my entourage who know where the psych is, and judges. Your job tonight is to, cut, is to choose a bag for me to snack. Alright? If I were you, I would choose either bag A or B because I like instant gratification. Some people have to choose bag C. Sorry. I'm not telling you that you should or shouldn't choose bag C. It's there. <laughs> Nobody wants to be a D bag. And let me not get this started. So, judges, let's start. We're going to start from left to right, from my view. Great. Okay. So, judge number one, which bag would you like to choose tonight? Why don't you try A? A?
have Miss Adelphi University. Nicole! Miss Adelphi University, what is the number you have selected? Number one. Your judge is Belle Espana. We will be asking you. Congratulations on top five. Thank you so much. My question for you. Cultural endurance is the ability of one's culture to persist, survive, and thrive while in the face of external challenges, changes, and influences. As part of the Filipino diaspora, one of our many challenges is maintaining an understanding and utilization of the Filipino language while experiencing and adopting a foreign culture. In the spirit of Ala Ala, and as we envision a future in which upcoming generations of Filipina, Filipino, and Filipinx Americans remain at a physical distance from their ancestral homeland, how do you suggest we ensure the enduring memory and legacy of our Filipino language? Thank you so much. Can you please repeat the question? <laughs> Thank you so much for the question. For me personally, I don't know Picolano that much. Um, it's something that I wasn't raised with. Um, but for me personally, I think what we can do as Filipinos that want to connect more to our ancestors is to have a talk with your parents. There, many of them are first um, are immigrants that came to the U.S. and they have experienced the homeland first, like first time. They may be there for 20 to 30, 20 to 30 years and have experience that we don't know. We are here in a foreign, foreign country that that is so new to us, but yet we still want to bring the culture of the Philippines to us. It's, a, it's part of who we are. With that, always having a talk with your parents or having a talk with your community is one of the best ways that you can do to know more about the language. Sometimes even looking through YouTube is, a, a, is another great stuff that you can do to learn more about the Tagalog or your native language that you can do. Thank you so much. The sash of Miss Congeniality is awarded to the contestant, whom the rest of the representatives voted to be the most outgoing and friendliest. This year's Miss Congeniality is Miss Ramapo College. Of It is awarded to the contestant whom the rest of the representatives voted to have the best photo shoot pictures. The winner of Miss Photogen is Miss Pace University. Miss Cultural is awarded to the contestants who gained the highest score on their cultural portion. And the winner of Miss Cultural is Miss Steven Institute of Technology. Miss Charity is awarded to the contestant 
who raised the most for their respective charity and sold the most tickets. The winner of Miss Charity is Miss Stevens is into a check A big congratulations to all our representatives for your unwavering effort and dedication that contribute, contributed to the success of the show. Now, it's time to reveal our runner-ups. For the top five, please step forward. Miss Philippines 2024 is Miss New 